In this video I am going to show you, very useful Jupyter Notebook tricks and shortcut keys you should know. Guys I'm dividing this video into two parts, one is for Jupyter Notebook beginners and the other is for everyone. If you have previous Jupyter Notebook experience, then send the video and tell everyone. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we learn about tricks, we need to know two types of cell mode. One is edit mode other is command mode. If cursor blink like this it means, add it mode if not, it's say command mode. This is because we will be using this term a lot in this tutorial. So, let's see how to change this edit mode cell into command mode cell. To do that simply press escape key on your keyboard. Here you can see that the cursor has disappeared, this means this cell has switched into command mode. To activate this cell simply click on it. It will change into active cell. Well, let's see how to create a markdown cell. Markdown cell means we can use that particular cell as a header or something like that. Give me a second I will show you how it works. To do that first change the cell into command mode. So here I'm press escape key. Here you can see it's change into command mode, and simply press M in your keyboard. Then if you type anything inside this cell, it will not be treated as a code, it will be treated as plain text. So you can type anything you would like. For example, here I type, Jupyter Notebook Tricks. To increase its size, put a hash, with space, like this. Okay, to run this cell press, Control, plus Enter. Alright, let's see how to create a new cell. To do that there are two methods. One is create cell above this cell, the other is create below. So let's do it. To do that make sure the cell is in, command mode. And then, press A, for above. Here you can see it's created a cell above this cell. To create below this cell. Press the, escape key, to change this cell to command mode. And then press B. Below this, you can see that a new cell has been created. You can easily remember this shortcut keys by, A for above and B for below. Let's see how to delete cells. In this case I want to delete this first cell. To delete that cell, first select that cell and put the cell in command mode, and press D, twice. There we go, it's deleted. Guys I'm forget to say one thing, we can run a cell and directly jump into the next cell by pressing, shift, plus enter. For example here I'm run the cell by pressing shift plus, enter, you can see, it's run the cell and jump into the next cell. Well, let's talk about some super useful tricks to code faster and more efficiently. So here is a list with some animal names. The name of the list is animals. Well here I'm run the cell by pressing shift plus, enter, you can see, it's run the cell and jump into the next cell. Suppose we want to add dog to this list, you all know how to do that. Use the append method. So here I say animals dot. Then press tab on your keyboard. Here you will see a list pop up. You can find all available methods from this list. Use the up and down keys on your keyboard to play around. To select any method from this list, simply press enter. It should be applied into our code. If I remove the append method, leave only the A and press tab, it will apply the append method to our list. This is because only the append method starts with the letter A. So it automatically returns the append method. Well here I put parentheses, because we needs to pass an argument to this function. Now I am going to show you a super useful trick, which will be very useful in most of the scenarios. First put your cursor inside the parentheses like this. And press shift plus tab. Then you can see something like this. It shows the documentation of the particular method. In this case append as a python inbuilt function. That's why it's only showing the argument. But if you work with pandas, tensorflow, django or similar external packages. Here you can see not only parameters and arguments, but also you can find full documentation of the particular method with examples. Okay, to run this cell press, control, plus enter. Okay, let's move on to the next trick. Press the, escape key, to change this cell to command mode and then press B for below. Here I say, print, hello, and if we run this, you all know that the output will be hello. You all know that if we put, hash, before this code, then the line will be commented, so when we run this cell that particular line will not be executed. So here I, copy, and paste this code for several times. Let's see how to comment all these lines at once. To do that, First select the lines you want to comment down, in this case, I'm going to select from here to, here. 
and press control plus backslash. There we go, all are commented. To remove comment, same as before, select the commented lines do you want to uncomment, and press same keys, control plus, backslash. All commented code blocks are gone. Alright, let's see how to perform multicursor. It's also a super useful trick. To do that click on where you want start the multicursor, and press, control, plus, alt. If you press those keys, you will see that the mouse cursor is turned into a plus sign like this and click the left mouse button and drag the mouse to the location you want to finish, as I did here. Alright, here we performed a multi-cursor. If we press backspace, it's applied to all of the lines we have selected. So here I remove all the code I have written before. Then again I type, print, hello. The next trick is that these cells can also be used as terminal. To do this, first I create a new cell below this, by pressing, B. Then inside this cell we want put an exclamation mark like this. Now we can use this line as terminal. To ensure this, here I'm going to upgrade my pip version by terminal command. So here I type, pip install, upgrade, pip. If I run this, it will update the pip version. In my case it is already upgraded. Now we are going to see an extra feature of Jupyter Notebook. That is magic function. To illustrate that, here I'm going to say, for i, in range, and then, here I'm going to put a big number, let's say 10 million. Here I simply say, pass. Okay, let's say we have to calculate how much time it takes to execute this code. To do this task, in other IDEs like, VS Code, or PyCharm we need to write some lines of code. But in Jupyter Notebook, we can do this task with a single word. To do that, go to the first line of the cell and put 2% sign like this. Then type, time. Then run this cell, and you should see something like this at the bottom of the output. It comes from our magic function. Here you will find something called wall time. It indicates how long it took to execute this code. Time is one of the magic function. But there are many useful magic function in Jupyter Notebook. If you want to learn more magic function, please check out the Jupyter Notebook documentation. I have put the link in the description. Guys don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.